what I'm going to do right now is share my screen, talk you through one of the deals that I just did with no money of my own. This is a deal that I did with no money of my own. This is a single family burr that we're putting on Airbnb. Key thing here is being able to cycle your capital through the deal. So um, this thing was on the market for 179 and we were able to buy it for 130. So you can see we just nuked this estimate on this property, but you can get an idea of the original condition on it. Just really a, a cosmetic situation. Um, the tenants were kind of gross, so the place didn't look that good. It had been sitting on the market because at the time the seller was not willing to get rid of the tenants, but we made an offer of 143 delivered vacant. At that point, nobody else had really been biting, so they agreed. Then we got an inspection and we were able to retrade and drop that price down to 130. Hang on, my cat wants to change locations. I guess she was feeling a little trapped. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get right into this. Um, I made a 3D tour right after we closed so that you could get a real feel for the property. So you can see this is kind of the blank slate. Property is in pretty good shape, um, but we're doing heavy cosmetic updates. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not amazing. And for Airbnb, you really want something amazing that your guests are just wowed by. So we're gonna take this decent house and turn it into an awesome one. And I'm actually gonna show you that in just a little bit. Uh, but to get into the numbers a little bit for you, you need to get it at a burrable price, whatever it is. And I do recommend applying this to bigger stuff. Once you get to five plus units, you get to really control the value. When you get to five plus units, it's purely valued based on comparables within that size range, as well as the income and expenses of the property. Your NOI based on cap rate is gonna go a long way to determining the value. You still need to know the per unit value but you have a lot more ability to control the valuation of your property. So we got a comp for the ARV at 250. And so that basically means if we are all in for less than 200, there's a scenario where we're leaving very little money in the deal. We raised money, about $62,000, some money for the purchase uh, down payment, 25K budget for interior design and furnishing, and then a $20,000 reserve. What we're doing is getting the rehab drawn out by the lender. So we're actually submitting our first rehab draw today on that. So this is the underwriting that I do. I actually took a month by month analysis based on comparables within the market. I found specific comps um, from Airbnb that I know we can compete with. And then I took our actual expenses. So you need to know how to do all of this. You need to be able to figure out exactly what you're gonna make and how much you're gonna spend with reasonable certainty. So we said, wow, okay. If it performs the way we expect it to, there's $3,000 of cash flow. That's why we were willing to buy a single family. And the backup was that we can still flip it because we believe we can really get this value. And we did get an appraisal, a uh, current value of 188 and an ARV of 245. So we're very close on the money here. We also think that that ARV came in low from the broker's price opinion. We're gonna try and push that value to between 280 and 300. So what we've done so far is we've managed to rip out everything in the kitchen that's being completely redone. We are gonna be redoing the bathrooms. We're reglazing the tile in the upstairs bathroom, repainting the wainscoting in the downstairs bathroom. Everything in the house is getting repainted. The outside is gonna get power washed. We haven't done that yet. The floors have all been sanded and they're staining them black. And then we're using a semi-gloss finish, which is gonna look absolutely amazing that we've really gone through and we've already painted the foyer. We've done most of the uh, staining upstairs. The downstairs is getting really cleaned up. We're trying to create a very high end uh, vibe to this property so that we get the best possible tenants on Airbnb. And of course, the best possible ARV. The property is coming along super nicely and we're really excited to finish this project in the next week or so and move on to the next one, which is gonna be a 14 unit burr, which we're gonna be doing with equity partners in New Hampshire. And we've got coming up hot in its heels, a 10 unit burr in Pittsfield, as well as a three family burr uh, also in Pittsfield. So we're doing a lot of stuff, um, pretty big range of deals, but we're definitely focused on those bigger units because like I said, it's all about controlling the value and cycling the capital through and using that to do as many deals as you possibly can.